Good morning, guys. Good afternoon. It's almost nighttime. <laughs> we have just made it to country 24. We're super excited to be here, and this is actually a country that most of you that we've talked to have never heard about before. I didn't hear about it until Deborah told me we were going here. It's one of six micro states here in Europe, and it is the largest of those six. But it's still very, very small. I believe is one sixth of the size of Rhode Island. <laughs> Tucked away in the border between Spain and France lies one of the most beautiful and underrated countries. Andorra. Andorra. Because this was a pretty last minute addition to our time here in Europe, Tyler was lucky enough to find a hotel room that met and fell under our budget of $100 a day. Wait until you guys see this view. At only $57 a night, we get to enjoy this incredible view overlooking the Pyrenees Mountains. We've got two full days here before we have to return our rental car back in Barcelona. Our goal while we're here is to see some really good sights, have some really good food, and go on the world's longest toboggan alpine ride. And maybe do a little bit hiking, because I love hiking, so since we're in the mountains... Yeah. I didn't bring my hiking shoes, so... Well, she has very thick tennis shoes, so she can do it. First things first, we're gonna go get some dinner. I'm starving. You can cut that out if you don't like it. Before we head out exploring today, I wanted to show you guys our room, most specifically our bathroom. If you follow me to the bathroom, we have this thing, which I don't know what that is, and neither does Tyler. We assume it's a urinal. We also have this toilet, and this is how you flush it. And our shower, which is in the middle of the tub, so quite an interesting bathroom that I've never seen the likes of before. <laughs> and now we're gonna go out and do some exploring. Today we're doing one of the most popular attractions here in Andorra. At only 36 euro per adult a day, it's only noon and this place is already packed. Welcome to Natureland Andorra, an outdoor activity center that has many activities on site, like free jumps, zip lining, archery. Tyler, how many did you get on? One, but it is closer than yours. Oh, it is closer. Uh, but I still got three. Now I have to go find my other one. Good luck. Sliding. Now I got stuck. I keep getting stuck. Tubing and whatever you would call this. <laughs> However, our main goal of the day is to go try the world's longest toboggan and alpine sled ride. Even though we won't technically be allowed to film too much, we'll try our best to show you guys around. But first an hour long wait to really get us hyped up. Okay, now that was fun. Even though Tyler made us do all that strenuous activity earlier today, like that, jumping off of mountains and- That was Deborah's idea. And doing archery and going sledding. He's making me do some more hiking. Uh, no, we're supposed to be heading towards Lake Engolasters. We're not 100% sure where we're headed, but we think we're going the right way. Their signs aren't the best. No. So we'll see where we end up.
after hiking for about 15 minutes, we've made it halfway across the lake. Now, because this is the drinking water that Andorra uses for their water systems, no one is allowed to go swimming or kayaking or really do anything that gets you in the lake. You can, however, take the short hike around the lake, which is what we're doing. Even though Alaska has really spoiled us on watercolor and just natural beauty, I can say that this is a beautiful spot to get to, really easy also, and it's a great spot to watch the sunset. It is officially our second day here in Andorra, and our goal for the day is to drive from one end of Andorra all the way to the other, which honestly shouldn't take that long. We're hoping to see some of the wild horses, incredible old churches like this one that was built in the 11th century. Our main goal of the day is to end our time here in Andorra with an authentic Andorran meal. We'll see if we can make that happen. A lot of the restaurants we've looked at have been closed, but let's keep our fingers crossed. Now off to the next stop. We found our wild horses. We found the wild horses. There's four of them. That was absolutely incredible. Definitely worth our time here in Andorra in itself. So yeah, just amazing. <laughs> Make your drive to France and you might see them. Wild horses, crazy. That is pretty crazy. Nothing can truly explain how happy I am to have seen those horses. I didn't really expect to see the wild horses here in Andorra, but we did. And it was pretty amazing. So cool. So cool. So happy. We stopped really quick because there's like 50 horses on the opposite mountain. I don't even know if you can see them, but I'm gonna try to show them to you because there's so many. This is like the best day ever. So, so cool. There's a little baby. There's a little baby. Once we got to the border town near France, we realized there really wasn't a whole lot to do, so we turned around. We've officially made it to our second church stop of the day. After making it all the way to the France border, turning around, we've made it almost all the way back down to the other border. <laughs> I'm gonna have Tyler tell you a little bit more about this church because he's the one who did all the research. All right, so this is the Santa Coloma Church. It was dated back to the eighth century and it is thought to be the oldest standing building in Andorra. The vines on this one are absolutely beautiful. None of the other ones I've seen have had that yet. No, it's a beautiful church. I will say though, all the churches kind of look the same. All right, before we move on to the very other end of Andorra, I have to show you guys what our whip is this week. <laughs> it's a Mini Cooper. It's awesome. It's actually been the best because the parking spaces here are so small. So um, yeah, that's our ride for the week. Do you fit? Yeah, I fit pretty good. Just no one can sit behind me. <laughs> After spending our very last night in Andorra, trying some local, authentic cuisine, we got a good night's rest and eventually made our way back through Catalonia and down to Barcelona, where we caught our flight down to Palma to try and relax for a week before making our way here to Country 25. As always, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see our next adventure, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Tucked away between the border of Spant, Spans. I bet you guys can't tell whose is whose.
Oh, that is beautiful. No one's gonna take Tyler's shoes because they're five times bigger than all the kitty ones over there.